Oh, hello. Welcome to another episode of Laboratory Safety. Today, we will be learning about how to survive a chemistry experiment. The main thing to remember is that the lab is no playground. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, people, today we're gonna learn about lab safety. First off, we're gonna examine your attire. I'm glad to see that you're all wearing closed-toed shoes. In a laboratory, you should always wear closed-toed shoes. This will protect your feet from any chemicals that are spilled. If you don't wear closed-toed shoes, you usually won't even be allowed to participate in the experiment. Wear your proper footwear, kiddos. Alright, everyone put on your goggles. Andrew, you think you're better than all the other students? You have to wear your goggles, too. The lab's very dangerous for your eyes. Okay, jeez. It is absolutely imperative to wear your goggles at all times in the lab. A chemical could splash up into your eyes and cause major damage. With your goggles on, your eyes will also be protected from touching your eyes with chemicals on your hands. Now before you use your Bunsen burner, you must make sure you have a firm connection. First, light your match. Then, hold it over the burner. Then, slowly turn on the gas. Uh, now be careful with the Bunsen burner, kids. The Bunsen burner can be very dangerous if not properly used. Touching the white hot flame for even a moment could cause serious burns. You must also be aware that a gas leak could also be dangerous. If you ever smell gas, turn off the burner, and then immediately inform your teacher. Get those goggles back on. This lad is going to pour a chemical from a large container into a much smaller one. This is not a good idea. You should first pour it into a more manageable container, or use a tool such as a pipetter. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you at McDonald's later. Go, wash your hands, go! If you get a chemical on your skin, immediately wash with running water for at least 20 minutes. You should also inform your teacher immediately. It is also a good idea to wash your hands before leaving the laboratory. I'm gonna have to call you back. A chemical spill must be cleaned up at once. A student could slip and possibly damage themselves as they go wildly flying through the lab. Never attempt to clean it up yourself. Always have the instructor assist you. Hey, Nicole, give me that beaker over there. This lass is not paying attention to her surroundings. She could easily knock something over, or burn herself. Let's watch. Ah! Oh my, Atlanta, stop, drop, and roll! What's going on over here? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, not again! You gotta be kidding me. I want to ah. Go, go, go.
If you ever get a chemical into your eye, you should immediately make use of the eye wash station. Rinse your eyes out for at least 10 minutes. You should not wear contact lenses in the laboratory. For if you were to get a chemical stuck under them, then it could damage your eyes further or even cause the contact to fuse to your eye. Well, I hope everyone's learned a valuable lesson today. Join us again tomorrow when we cover skydiving. Until then, have a safe day.